Good day and God bless. Welcome back to Verses from My Car. I am Dana. Today we are going to read Reflection number 8 from a book called Dare to Journey. Reflection 8 is about Psalm 46 1. So we shall go and check that out. Excuse me. Psalm 46 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Absolutely. And the reflection from four pump, Psalm 46 1, coming home, finding a place of safety. Every home is not necessarily a haven of peace. Every church is not necessarily a community of love and service. And the workplace is not always a place of cooperation. Nor are all our relationships healing and encouraging. Thus, in the midst of life, we can feel lost and alienated. We therefore need to hear the call to come home, home to the Father's heart. Newen states that, states that in prayer, God so much wants to give a home, a sense of belonging, a place to dwell, a shelter where I feel protected and a refuge in which I feel safe. This place of safety can only be found. This place of safety can be found in our world, but only in the place of prayer a place of fellowship with the Father of all grace and consol consolation, who invites me to be with him. It is there that we are truly at home, and it is from this center that we seek to build families of joy and openness, churches of reconciliation, workplaces of productivity and partnership, and friendships that are not stifling, but are marked by servanthood and reciprocity. These are good reflections. I'm enjoying these little stories. Although I have to admit, I wish they were longer. But, it's a whole book. I can't ask more than that, right? Can I? I don't know. Anyway, I love it. I always feel so much better when I'm reading or listening to any of the Bible stories. Absolutely. I'm sure you do too. You, you have to notice a change on the inside and how you view everything the more time you spend in the Word. Yet, just like you, I'm sure, there are times I get away from it and I, I'm not in it as much as I should. And then I'll notice that things aren't necessarily going the way they should be. And every time, the correction to that It's so simple, I don't know why all of us can't seem to grasp that, including myself. Stay in the Word. I need to learn that. So as always, let's end this with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. This is about the only book I will ever read more than just a couple of times. Because every single time you get something out of it. Alright, I hope you have a great day. God bless.